because we're going to have some more rain showers moving in. And when we get those big downpours, it lowers our visibility and we have that standing water out on the roads. You know, is that going to just be today? Will it get out of here for the big races starting tomorrow? We're still going to have yeah. some shower chances, okay. especially during the morning tomorrow and then heading throughout the afternoon. It will not rain the entire time, so rest assured, but it is going to get wet for just about everyone as we head throughout the next few days. Right now, we are looking at that unsettled pattern that's going to be sticking around with us this week going into the weekend. Temperature wise, it's not going to be as oppressive as what we had, but it's still going to feel like those upper 90s to right around the triple digit mark. If you're headed to the beach, maybe you're going to be going out on a cruise. You don't need to worry about anything in the Atlantic. We are still looking clear over the next 48 hours when it comes to tropical storms. Current temperature right now 73 degrees and look at that sunrise just over in Gallatin. Beautiful, pure conditions for y'all, but other spots not necessarily dealing with the same. We've got this system that is just to our north and west. It's very electric and it's also incredibly slow. So yes, it looks as if we could just rope this baby in and drag it through and kind of get it done. It's just going to be really slow and it's also going to take a very interesting path where it's not a one size fits all. Current temperatures right now, 60s and 70s. Our winds are light out of our south. As we go throughout the day, once we do start to encounter a few thunderstorms, we'll have some gusty winds associated with it. So what are you going to notice first? The cloud cover. We're looking to stay mostly clear areas off to our east. You're going to actually warm a little bit more so clouds will move in. We'll see scattered showers as well as thunderstorms. Usually when I show you this model, we discuss of how like, OK, this looks like rain, but it's actually the moisture in the air. Well, because we are so saturated at the surface, that column of air is already wet, so we're not having to do a lot of work and use energy. So I do look to see some scattered activity even within those particular spots. This is going to continue to hover even overnight right along the Kentucky Tennessee state line. Severe threat risk of one out of five. Our main issues continue to be the same. Gusty winds and heavy downpours. Tomorrow afternoon, better rain chances will then move in and it's really going to start to then hover in throughout the peak heat of the day. Your seven day forecast highs today will top out at 91. 90 tomorrow and that's where we're going to stay over the next several days. Today's rain chances really looking to be north of I-40. Tomorrow's rain chances start along the Kentucky Tennessee state line, then shift their way southward. And as we make our way throughout the weekend, Ben, more isolated activity. I get it. This is one of those forecasts. It looks like she just gave up and she's throwing rain chances in there. No, this is August in the south where we do have the heat of the day, pop up showers and storms. And because we're so humid, it will also end up producing some really heavy downpours.